man. I hope this message finds you well and that you've been enjoying the content as of late. Um, you know, for those of you who've been following me for a minute now, you've seen kind of the evolution and the growth of the channel, and I appreciate you from, for all the support from day one, from the bottom of my heart. You know, this takes time to put together, and even though it seems like I'm just kind of fitting it in, at the end of the day, it puts a, you know, you have to put a lot of thought into the content that you put out there. Not only that, but also dis display and execute a certain amount of courage in order to reach the goals and the, and the destination that you plan to to hit right and so my destination is to build a uh, build the brand and build a kind of a resource and a hub where anyone literally because even though the channel is called sales remastered at the end of the day you may sometimes need help on selling yourself selling yourself not like a fucking prostitute get your mind out of the gutter boy what I'm talking about is sell yourself on the reason as to why you shouldn't settle sell yourself on the reason as to why you could do better Right? and why you could be better, why you could get better, why you deserve better, get it? And so I did a post today on the Instagram feed. Uh, you know, it was a quote that says something like, you know, the, that life can sometimes get the best of us, but it really determined, it's really determined by our state of mind as far as where we go and the outcome is determined by our mindset. Something like that, right? I don't know by heart, but at the end of the day, what I'm trying to get at is we all, are going today right now we all are gonna have a decision on you know how fast we get to the destination that we're reaching for or drives us or how fast we steer away from that goal and how fast we kind of veer off or, or decide to procrastinate and push away from our goal and ultimately what it comes down to is how we react to a few things number one is how we react to the emotions and the kind of the comments and and the output in our surroundings and this is why in my content you see that I'm always preaching how important your surroundings are now you might be like me where currently you know or uh, maybe in the past you've you've probably been in this situation where you couldn't necessarily control your surroundings right like if you like let's say your surroundings just happens to be at work or it happens to be on your aisle or it happens to be on the specific team that you're on or the management that you have and you may think or believe that your circumstance is, is gonna be based on whatever surroundings you're currently in. And sometimes that can grow resentment within you because you believe that it is the, it is the responsibility of your management or responsibility of your team or those around you that determines your outcome. Where at the end of the day, what I've learned is that regardless of your circumstance, regardless of your surroundings or those people around you, however they react, it's really all about the state of mind that you hold. And that's something that you can control. You see, you can't control the emotional reaction of those around you unless you want to, unless you decide to take that lead. But I'm not saying that you need to take a lead. You know, I've been in sales for uh, over 20 years as far as management goes. You know when I first started in sales I wanted to become a manager and you know that cuz I always thought like hey man that probably be like kind of just autopilot right like that that allows me to be in a position where I can make a rip off of everyone else <laughs> and at a young age I discovered that at the end of the day management is hard leading is fucking way different than leading yourself because you're fully reliant on the reaction of others and so if your if your emotions or if your reactions right now are based on the opinions or the output of others or others around you don't get mad at yourself that's probably just the leader quality within you is because you instinctively want to control things that you can't control and sometimes that's human nature but mostly that's demonstrated from leaders is because leaders will either get mad that the people around them are not reacting in the way that they want or leaders will figure out how to influence those around them to react the way that they want. And so I know that's a little bit deep and that's on some leadership shit, but where I'm getting at right here is I wanna, I wanna explain to you how you are actually the leader of your own destination and it does come down to mindset, but I don't wanna talk about cliche shit that you already know. I don't wanna talk about quotes that you've already heard of, like keep your mindset strong, dog. What I'm talking about is today I want something that's relevant to you I want you to realize that whatever circumstance that you find yourself in or whatever market you find yourself in or whatever limitations you believe you find yourself in 
I want you to know that it's really the, your state of mind and your state of mind is gonna determine and influence the actions that you take for today. So my message to you is that today, you take control and you fucking drive that bitch to whatever destination you wanna go to. You see, what I found is that, is that we literally drive ourselves wherever we wanna go. It's gonna be based on the output and the actions that you take. Like right now, the circumstance that you got, the limitations that you believe you have, is gonna be is literally the outcome of the, of the, of the actions and the, and the mindset that you've demonstrated thus far. So in other words, if you currently, right now, if right now, you're not necessarily happy with the outcome or the surroundings you got or, or the influences you have around you, it's, it's actually your decisions and your actions that led you to your current state. It, you know, your, your actions thus far has put you in the surroundings that you're in. And so what does that mean? Well, well, what it means is that if you're unhappy with the circumstance that you have and you're not necessarily content or you feel that you can't be fulfilled by the circumstance or the surroundings you have, it's gonna be up to the actions you take now and moving forward that's gonna determine the surroundings you're gonna have tomorrow and the days to come, get it? So ultimately what this means is that it's not too late and you have full control over where you are going, but also at the same time, you have full control of how far away from the destination you wanna be, uh, you'll push yourself. So if you, in other words, if you react to the, to the output and the, and you know, the, the circumstance that you're currently in in a way where you give up or you push away from your original goal, that ultimately was a decision. And so you can't necessarily be mad at anybody but you, boo-boo, <laughs> get it? And so I hope today that this message finds you well and that you know the, the message does resonate because what I've learned in my climb is that it, it literally took me a while to realize this and I hope it, it doesn't take you as long as it did for me, but it's gonna be based on where you wanna go. Wherever you really, really wanna go, your actions will back it up, get it? And your mindset and your courage will then follow. You see, what, what held me back for so long is that I didn't believe that I could change my surroundings, but when I figured out that I could, boom, my whole life changed. And my point is that wherever you are today, whether it's at a place that you want or it's a place that you don't want, you gotta continue striving. So you're gonna strive anyway, regardless, right? You're gonna be waking up tomorrow, you're gonna still go through the same process tomorrow. And I want you to analyze your surroundings and analyze your view of those surroundings, because at the end of the day, those surroundings are based on the actions you took thus far. So if you wanna change your surroundings, you wanna change your circumstance, you wanna change the results that you're currently seeing right now, then all you gotta do is change the actions that you're executing, get it? All right, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll see you guys on the next one, bye.